Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ozark501 and today I'm going to be back in Atlas and today I'm going to be doing a video on something that was pretty requested in my Atlas taming video and that is showing you guys some taming pen builds. So I'm going to be showing you guys two today and one is just one that you can use anywhere. Um, you basically just build around whatever you're taming. The other one is a pre-built one that you can aggro stuff into to tame. Um, and before we get into both of those builds, you guys are going to see some footage of how you get all of these resources. And I'm going to tell you guys basically how you get all of this. So you get the resources. The only resources you need for this, I'm using all thatch stuff. If you want to go wood or stone, if you're using a more permanent building, you're going to need to look up whatever resources those are. But for thatch, you're going to need fiber, thatch, and wood. It's actually the same you need for wood building pieces but it just takes different um, amounts of each of them so you're going to need your fiber which you can just hand pick from plants on the ground or which is recommended you use a sickle which is a metal tool and you just sickle up all the fiber you get the fiber the quickest the second thing you're going to need is thatch now you get thatch mainly by hitting trees with your pickaxe any trees now you will get thatch with hitting trees with a hatchet as well which is how you get wood now you can also so you get if you're hitting a tree with a hatchet you get primary wood secondary thatch and if you're hitting a tree with a pickaxe you get primary thatch secondary wood now there's also these smaller trees in the game that you can walk through so they're not a solid object they'll be little there'll be two time two types one looks like a kind of like a bush um, same color as the tree where we're building and the biome we're building it's red stuff so it'd be like a bigger reddish bush that you can sickle down and it'll give you wood and thatch as well randomly you can't really choose which one it gives more of and there's also these ones that are basically super super tiny trees that you can still walk through but those will give more wood and thatch than the red decent sized bushes and those are basically those aren't as good as you know full grown trees or even not full grown trees you're still hitting with a um, hatchet or a pickaxe but if there's no trees around um you, there's usually a ton of those small tiny little trees you can go sickle down so that's out of the way for the resources and the first build we're going to go into is basically just building around something you've already bullied so this is mainly used well, this is pretty much only used for stuff that you're going to need a bola and keep bolaing and feeding. So in this video, I did a pig. I kind of tamed the pig because, because I guess it didn't want to be tamed at that time. But it, it's the same thing. You're bowling the animal and then building around it. And how I do it is I build fence foundations, which are just these two little like poles you put in the ground, basically. Um, all the things I'm talking about take the resources we all the resources we just talked about. That's the only resources. It takes varying amounts, but it only takes those resources. So I usually do six to eight fence foundations. Um, then I'll do a six to eight walls, thatch walls, and then I'll do like three or four ceilings. Now this is thatch stuff, so the animals, because when the animals are downed, being bullied, say a tiger, if you go in front of it, it'll still hit a bunch of the time, so it'll swipe at you basically. So you kind of have to be quick going in and out. Um, but what I also recommend doing is always place down a bed and a storage container on some foundations next to whatever you're taming. Now, some reasons for this are you want to be able to spawn there super quickly um, whenever you die. If there's heat waves, there's cold waves, if you just get hit too many times, which you probably will die a few times from just getting hit by it when you're trying to feed it. And af once a animal wants to be fed by you, so like you're, it's bullet or not bullet, um, once it wants to be fed so it has a timer, say tiger, you feed it, you have 40 seconds to feed it again. If it's wanting to be fed and i'm pretty sure it's 30 seconds go by it might be different for different animals if 30 seconds go by you it'll start losing taming progress so you want to have the bed so you can spawn right next to it when you die and get progressing to you know tame your animal and not losing tame progress so basically the first one you're just placing fence foundations all around it you place walls inside of those then you ceiling on top it's not going to look nice but it's going to keep it in 
Now, the top is mainly for like Tigers and Lions that will actually jump out of one wall. Um, I still put it there just in case because like some snakes and stuff can get over walls and all kinds of weird stuff. So I like to box it in as best possible so it's protected from all angles. Um, that's for not getting it killed because if you don't know, you can hit bullet animals and they don't lose taming effectiveness in this game like they did in Ark. So that's all you're going to do. Most animals... Um, like pigs and tigers and stuff you can delete a wall um i would just delete one wall so it's more protected but it still can't get through if only the fence foundation is there so i usually do that so i have a big wide open area to be able to hit um and bola very easily so that is the first way um this way is also the recommended way if you're taming something like if you're gonna bowl like a horse or something because if it's something that won't aggro to you and chase you you can't tame it in the second building because the second building we have to aggro stuff pull it into the building and then trap it inside so this is also good for stuff that passively runs away when you attack them if you need to bullet stuff like that so the second way is more of a permanent one um if you know you have a base area or if you're on your own like company's island or something like that and you want to build a more permanent taming area in a certain area to be able to just aggro the things you want to tame into it um this is the building you're gonna want so this i'm using all thatch for this um as well you can upgrade to wood or stone um i don't know if it, if most wild animals can hurt um wood i'm not certain i know they can hurt stone so if you want to do a more permanent one and do stone you can do that it'll be the same exact thing just stone versions so basically what you're going to do is you're going to make six floors those are just basically the foundations in this game they're called floors and you're going to place them so it's two rows of three and then you're going to have your walls i think it takes like total eight like eight total walls um you're going to place one wall and how you do this you're going to place doorways so how you do this before you actually click your mouse and place the wall down you press t and it cycles through three different variations a window a normal wall and a doorway and you're gonna do doorways you're not gonna put doors in them but you're gonna do doorways and you're gonna put one doorway on the long side so it's two rows of three so you're gonna put it on the row of three the long side you're gonna put that one wall there then you're going to make a small gateway and gate and you're gonna and this will attach right with the wall perfectly on the long direction then you're gonna put the gate inside that and keep that open so you need to close it then all of the other walls you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna place on the walls press t go to doorways then fill up all the other um the, all the edge of the foundations or floors with the doorways and if you need to you can build higher up and you can also ceiling if you need to so if you're doing tigers and something like this you're definitely going to want a ceiling um if you're doing something that are bigger animals like i don't think giraffes or maybe bigger animals will fit if you ceiling off one wall so if you need to do a higher walls then ceiling you can do that very easily um just do the same thing just do the walls turn them into doorways and then sealing them off so you're basically just going to kite the stuff in there you're going to um close the gate oh a tip about kiting stuff in when you aggro it and you're inside when you get inside the doorway and you're inside your taming pen do not leave out of the taming pen until the animal's inside if you go out out the back and the animal's not inside yet, they will go around. So make sure they're in. You're going to have to take a hit or two. Make sure they're in. Go out one of the doorways. And then go around and close the gate. Then your animal's trapped. Um, you can, you know, easily tame it. You have basically a view of it. And you can shoot from any direction. Because it's all doorways and it's pretty open. And nothing's going to be able to get out. Now, for this one as well, make sure you have some foundations next to it with a couple beds and a storage chest if you need to keep, you know, food and a bunch of bolas in there if you're doing high-level stuff because you're going to need a lot of bolas. And that's pretty much it. That's the two taming pens. Um, you really don't need more than this. If I figure out or find any animals that you need more than this, I don't think a dragon you would be trapping. Um... I don't think anyone's even gotten a dragon yet. But if there's anything else, I will do another video of more taming pens. Um, these will pretty much work for everything. 
So that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, subscribe if you want to see more Atlas content. Leave a comment down below what you think about Atlas, what you think about these taming pens as a whole. Um, like the video if you like it, and thanks for watching.